disaster preparedness is all about people. A mantra worth noting as repairs continue in California's Napa Valley, where a 6.0 earthquake left behind a wide range of damage. In fact, the stronger a relationship you have with your neighbors, the greater your chance of surviving a disaster, according to a recent study by Purdue and Tokyo University. The study of Japan's 2011 earthquake and tsunami found that people in more socially connected municipalities were five times more likely to survive the disaster than those in less neighborly areas. But with such busy lives, how do we connect with our neighbors? The Nextdoor social networking app and website aims to help people do just that. The reason we started the company is because we felt there was an opportunity to use technology to bring back a sense of community to the neighborhood. In recent times, we have lost touch with our neighbors, and almost 28% of Americans can't even name a single neighbor. The company says the free social network is used in about one in four neighborhoods across the United States. That's over 40,000 neighborhoods with at least 10 users each. After verifying their home addresses, Nextdoor users are given access to a private news feed for neighbors and a handful of adjacent neighborhoods. It's a fast way to connect during an emergency, even with people you may not know. Users can also opt in to receive alerts via text message and email. Critics say Nextdoor doesn't let people post publicly to neighborhoods that may be nearby but are out of the network, and this limits reach during a crisis. But Nextdoor's utility was clear during the recent California quake. 40% of the total content on Nextdoor in the greater San Francisco Bay Area on August 24th was earthquake-related, says the company. Everything from damage updates to reports of missing animals. Turning to social media during disasters isn't new. Twitter and Facebook groups have proven useful for sharing experiences and organizing global relief efforts, for instance. But the idea behind Nextdoor is that it can work in a more targeted way. That was the case during a fire last March in San Francisco's Mission Bay District. Jaron Brass, who lives in a building that was next to the fire, alerted neighbors to remove flammable items from their patios and to offer a space for displaced residents. I don't know who my neighbors are in certain cases. They don't know who we are, you know, and, and when you have a situation like this that's, that's incredibly, you know, quick and changing rapidly at every moment, um, what, what would you do? This, this allowed us to come together as, as a community and, and help those in need. The company hopes to expand into every neighborhood in the U.S. in the coming years and eventually launch internationally.